to recycle and do art and green. That's right. We've got a lot of recycling. A lot of bags. Well, we have a lot, but it's still not as much as some people bring here. <laughs> I don't know how to get it all here. So this is how it's done. Take everything out of a bag, put it in a little hole. And for anything extra, you put it in these bins. It's kind of a long process, but it's worth it. Goes in the hole, and then comes out there, into the bag. Then you take your earnings, and you go inside the grocery store. How much did we make? Ten, about ten fifty. Sweet. We just got ten bucks from recycling, and now we're about to spend it because these are on sale. Yay! Okay, so we've done our recycling. Now we're going to Target, and every time we come to Target, we pass by these things. I mean, they're screws, right? But I mean, come on, come on, Target. Come on, Target. Really, Target? If it was like a Lowe's and they had those out there, that would make sense, right? Because they're, because they look like, because they're screws, right? But it's a Target. It's a Target. Why do you have screws outside of a, of a Target? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. And then, and then they, they look like that. Why, Target? Why? Some of them have balls. Oh, well, well, that proves my point. That makes it even better. Come on, this is a family show. Stop it. We are going out to eat tonight with Lucas's band members, and we're meeting them at their studio, which is kind of a cool place, so I wanted to show you guys where they practice. Bedrock, L.A. The lobby. Pinball. Fun. Music store. Cool. Bathroom. Walkers. Very important. It's kind of like a maze. The first time I was here, I was totally lost. But you get the hang of it. A lot of turns. And stairs. Very green walls. Yeah, they just recently painted them. I don't know. And they painted the floor. They used to be carpet and they took it all out painted it gray. You could like crumb key stuff here. This is this where the is magic it. happens. There's space. Lucas's this drums. And one of Tom's drums. Oh. This is it. We're gonna eat some jokes. <laughs> Lots of food, lots of food, lots of. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> Holy cow. No. Today, we are at Universal Studios. Why? Because we can. It's a beautiful day, right? Beautiful day, right? Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Yeah! Happy Father's Day, Dad. Walking the red carpet. Studios, Hollywood invites you to go behind the scenes. How do you feel on the red carpet? And the largest working film this feels right. It's kind of natural. Would you like Make to thank sure anyone? Um, here? Know, I would like to thank my dad um, being at Father's Day because without him I wouldn't be alive. And then my mom because she also played a key role in that. Um, of course, my beautiful wife Chelsea. Jesus and Ozzy Smith, the best shortstop in the world ever. Huh. Okay. I think that pretty much sums it up. Oh, you're done now. Great. These are some sets that we eat.
of our Back to the Future films. It was actually the back lot of the courthouse square. The of our sets, that would be Mr. Steven Spielberg. And he decided to add in a couple extra fun features, including working chimneys and working manholes. We return to Skull Island. Oh, we're going to Skull Island. Kong. Isn't so scary? We really put a lot of thought into oh, the nice character and personality of Kong, and he's so oh. much more than a monster. In fact, he's not a monster, even though he is an incredibly majestic, ancient. Car 3 and Car 4, if you guys see any sign of a flash flood, we're going to need you guys to scream and yell as loud as you can so we can let our driver Tim know we need to tail into that here, okay? Uh oh. What car three? What car four? Uh, oh boy. Oh, okay, looks like there's that flash flood that I was talking about. Uh, keep those cameras nice and protected. Now we're in the loud But at the rate of thing that you guys saw back there, those uh, sprinklers shoot the water straight up into the air and then let the water fall down naturally to the earth. Looks like there's something in the water there with George. Uh, hey, George. George, you might want to send back to your police boat, buddy. Tour, which was awesome as usual. Next stop, the bathrooms. You excited? So excited. Is that your favorite part? The bathrooms? The bathrooms. The bathrooms are pretty cool. This is how we clap. Now it's time for my probably my favorite part of Universal Studios. The like three to four escalator trip down to the lower part of it. It's a cool view. Oh hey, how's it going? How are things? That was awesome. Why are escalators so fun? Does anyone else enjoy escalators? Do you enjoy escalators? Oh, I love them. Love them. They're fun. Mostly because I'm lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should get an escalator and put it in our house someday. Okay. That in a urinal. Like, Urinals are awesome too, though. Wouldn't that be cool to have in a house? I, I, I don't know how awesome they are because I've never used one. Well, I mean, it obviously it wouldn't be for you. You wouldn't use it. I would use it. But I can't say that they're, like, amazing because I don't know if they're amazing. But then you wouldn't have to yell at me because I forgot to put the seat down or something. Today on the Subway, we're celebrating the seat. I don't do that. Is this your favorite escalator coming up? Yes. This one's pretty good. It's my That's when you really feel 
feel the importance of escalators when you have to go up. This is Lucas's dream store. Transformer store. What'd you find? Lego Transformers, like the two best things in the world. Transformers and Legos. Well, not, I guess they're not technically Legos. But they're close enough. I need you to help me defeat the Decepticons. <laughs> Does anyone else, when you see these things, you always have to find your name? These keychains with your names on them. We found Lucas. But we can't find Chelsea. Bumblebee. Look, the original DeLorean time machine. Look what we found! Ooh. Let's go back to the future. Okay. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Um, 2037. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Now we just have to find a way to uh, get in there. Me and Lucas are going to race. He's going to go up the stairs. I'm going to go up the escalator. We're going to see who wins. That's the stairs. Right there. These are the escalators. Are you ready? Good luck. Good luck to you too. Okay. The song was also featured in the 1982 oh, no, Universal Musical, The Best Little Board House in Texas. How you doing? Are you racing? Making it the first time the same song by the same artist went to number one twice on the country music charts. Here's Dolly's 1982 version of I Will Love You. Oh, no. He's going to win. You won. You won. Not even tired. And you got exercise. I lose.